did you grow well, up? Well, I actually grew up in the Bronx. It's the Bronx. And like Colin Powell, you, he wanted to be a four-star general. You wanted to be an astrophysicist. Well, it's, it's when you grow up in the, you? Yeah, in the city, this, you don't have a relationship with the sky. You know, you look so up, how did you choose? What there's a that? building there. There's, back then, there was smog and pollution. <laughs> so yeah, it was a first visit to the Hayden Planetarium really? that I now direct. As a kid. As a kid. As a kid. I was, all I was, kids in New York go to the Hayden Yo, At some point, you it's go through. It's a school trip. And I guess it doesn't hit everybody the same way, but it hit me sitting there in the chair, and the lights went out, and the stars came out. And, and I think the universe chose me after that. Really? Moment. Yeah, I don't think I had any say in the matter. So right then, you knew, I knew. this was your By life. By age 11, I figured out you can do it as a career. At, at age 9, you're not thinking career. You're just thinking what's what cool to do. What about it fascinated you? The, the vastness, the infinitude. Of it all. Infinitude. <laughs> I don't know if that word exists, but you know what I mean by it. It's a good it. word, yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, just the idea that to understand it goes beyond Earth and requires methods and tools and, and, and talents. And, and then I'd learned you have to know math because the universe, the language of the universe is math. And figuring, out, figuring that out that early, it meant I didn't have any sort of math anxiety because I wanted to talk to the universe. <laughs> if you want to talk to somebody, you're going to learn their language, and there's oh. no fear factor at all.